Well, hello, it's uh, Jack VK3 Triple W, and uh, I'm just out in the park testing out a uh, 80 meter ARDF receiver, one uh, designed by uh, Nick DF1FO. And uh, yeah, I must admit it's uh, certainly superior to what I'm used to using, that's for sure. Go through a couple of the features that it's got, but uh, it does have a very nice. Uh, little display on there, you can see the signal meter bouncing up and down and uh, it's uh, it's in set up for classic mode at the moment so uh, five transmitters 60 seconds per transmitter and at the moment it's saying transmitter number two it's got uh, 19 seconds to go but I've just got a homing beacon running at my home QDH at the moment and you can see on the right hand side there there's a little uh, figure there I can't actually see it, what it's saying at the moment. Uh, oh, 100 metres. That's roughly giving me an indication of how far the, uh, the transmitter is from uh, where I am at the moment. So, uh, yeah, at the moment it's in, um, in uh, bi-directional mode. So there we've got a null there. Coming around to a peak on the... Uh, on the side of the, the loop, that's the direction of the, uh, the transmitter at home. So we've got now the, uh, the loop is facing the uh, transmitter. Come around to another peak and if we go right round, we go around to another null. So it's two peaks, two nulls. The, uh, which is okay, but uh, you really need to have the sense antenna incorporated which will uh, cancel out one of the peaks. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, bring the sense antenna in. I've got this set up, if you, look on, uh, if you look on the back here, I've got left hand and right hand. Depending which way you hold the receiver, I tend to hold it in my right hand, so I'm looking at the display here, holding it in the, uh, in the right hand to take DFs. And uh, then if you swing around to your left hand, you've got the display around this way. So uh, from the right hand, I'll flick it onto the right hand DF. And I'll have to turn it around because it's basically behind me. Now you can hear that, that noise there. That's what we call here in Australia whoopee mode. So that's the peak of the signal. And if we come right round... We've got a nice null around the other side. So now we're on the uh, extremities. The peak's on this side, the null's on this side. Come around to the peak. And uh, we're listening to the, uh, the peak on that. We're going to change the, uh, the gain of that. Oh, just the transmitter's just, or uh, well, the ident's just resetting itself. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we can adjust it how strong we want this uh, whoopee mode. Now it's got auto attenuation on the uh, on the receiver as well. As you're coming in closer to the transmitter, it attenuates itself. So we'll just bump up the uh, signal a bit. We just bumped it up, but it automatically attenuated it back down. We'll go around here and bump it up. Got a little bit of little bit of uh, whoopee noise coming in that side. Watch what happens when we turn it round. Hear those uh, little bells ringing? Well, that that's just attenuated as we came around. The signal was stronger, so it's attenuated it. Now, if you're uh, running, if you're running through the through the forest, and uh, you're probably looking for one transmitter, but another one comes on, which is behind you, rather than turning around to uh, take a bearing on it, you can you can just flick the switch on the side there. Now we're looking at the rear, not the front. So if we turn, if we turn around that way, that's the peak now. Before the peak was on this side. Now the peak's over here. Just to prove that, I'll just, uh, I'll put it on. I'll peak it up when that transmitter comes back on. Okay. So now we've got the peak on this side. Null round there. Flick that switch over. It's a null round there and a peak around that side. That could be a bit confusing on the course, I have to keep checking that, make sure it's always in the right position, because if it does accidentally flick the other way, you'll be running away from the transmitter, not towards it. 
Then we can go back into the uh, bi-directional mode. Normally these receivers come with uh, two buttons on this side so you hold the button for forward or reverse but I found that quite um, well actually I got it I got this one uh, ordered with the single button on it but they were momentary buttons so I changed the button over to uh, on off on rather than uh, momentary where it would bump back in there you'd have to keep holding your finger on there to take that bearing here in Australia we hunt we hunt on the peak uh, whereas in Europe they tend to hunt on the null so uh, having that, that, that whoopee mode, as I call it, is, uh, is really good. Really enjoy having that on this receiver. Uh, there's a lot of other features with the receiver. Because this is in classic mode at the moment, to go to the homing beacon, we just uh, double click this multi-function button on the top, double click it to change frequency from, uh, from uh, change channels, I should say from uh, channel 1 to channel 2, two channels in classic mode. Then in uh, fox oaring mode and um, sprint mode, there's uh, you can save lots more frequencies in there and you can just push the button to go through the different frequencies. I'll do a bit more with that when I get home. It'll, uh, I tried doing it before with the, uh, with the um, camera strapped to the side of this, but it was a bit difficult. So uh, I'll set it up on the bench at home and show go through the menus. Yeah, very good. I'm looking forward to uh, to using this. Looking forward to using it on a real event. There we go. DF, DF1FO 80 meter receiver.